Fani Willis says she's the only DA in US with enough courage to prosecute Trump DA Willis has been criticized for talking about the case in public. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis told reporters this week she is the only DA in the country with enough courage to prosecute former President Donald Trump in the Georgia election interference case. During an Easter event in College Park Saturday for families in need, Willis, 52, spoke to the media for the first time since a judge ruled she could remain on the case. There's one district attorney in the state, and really around the country, that has had the courage to do this, and she continues to do it. Willis told Fox 5 Atlanta. The case landed in Fulton County, not by anything that I did, but by the actions of others, and when a case lands in my jurisdiction, I'm going to prosecute it, and that's the end of that. Defense attorneys have accused Willis of mishandling the case, alleging that she hired special prosecutor Nathan Wade to profit from the Trump prosecution through their romantic relationship. Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee has said there wasn't sufficient evidence to prove those claims but rebuked Willis for what he called a tremendous lapse in judgment. Judge McAfee has allowed attorneys for Trump's co-defendants to appeal his ruling that she could stay on the case after the withdrawal of Special Prosecutor Wade. Influential pollster says New York AG seizing Trump's property would elect HIM in remarks to Atlanta News First, Willis implored the media to focus on the charges, the facts, and the law and leave all the drama behind. I'm 52 years old. It really ain't that interesting if I'm in a relationship or not. If just ain't. It's not cool to anybody, and it ain't that sensational of a story, Willis said. Willis also told CNN that the prosecution against Trump hasn't been delayed by proceedings over her romantic relationship. I don't feel like we have been slowed down at all, Willis said. I think there are efforts to slow down the train, but the train is coming. She also said she didn't believe her reputation needed to be reclaimed and that she hadn't done anything embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed by anything I've done, Willis said. I guess my greatest crime is that I had a relationship with a man, but that's not something I find embarrassing in any way. ABC host can't believe Rubio would serve as Trump's VP if asked, really? On Twitter, Trump attorney Steve Sado accused Willis of ignoring Judge McAfee's warning in his disqualification order about talking about the case in a public forum. Does this surprise anyone? Sado tweeted. In a follow-up tweet, Sado wrote, Does political ambition, opportunism, and pretentiousness equal courage? No. Anthony Michael Kreis, a Georgia State University law professor who's been following the case, criticized her comments in a post on X. If I were Fonny Willis, I would simply not talk to the media at all at this point just out of an abundance of caution, Kreis said, Fox News Digital has reached out to the DA's office for comment. Trump faces for felony indictments, including separate federal and state cases for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election that he lost to President Joe Biden, but has fought to delay and dismiss the cases, arguing that political opponents are wrongly targeting him. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg is presiding over the criminal trial of Trump's alleged hush money payments to an adult film star. New York Attorney General Letitia James brought a case against Trump in October, alleging that he inflated his assets and committed fraud. And special counsel Jack Smith charged last summer that Trump plotted to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election.